How's it going guys? Today is kind of a unique episode. We are going to be putting together an SCR. That's right guys, today we're going to be putting together an SCR. I am finally going to ditch the PID controller here and get an SCR. This is a box that came with some poker chips in it. I got it for Christmas four or five years ago and I'm going to repurpose this box to put our SCR in. So why don't we jump right into that and we'll get this thing laid out and uh, and get started. All right guys, before we get started, I wanted to let you know that I am not a licensed electrician. I know enough to get myself in trouble here. Uh, I don't want you guys to do this in your home if you don't feel comfortable with it. Do this at your own risk. As far as I know, this is fairly safe. If you guys don't feel comfortable doing something like this, don't chance it. Have one, you can buy these online uh, for a couple hundred bucks and they work great. So I feel comfortable doing this. I'm pretty handy myself. I do most of my own electrical in my homes. I feel comfortable doing this guys, but if you don't, just buy one. It's a couple hundred bucks that you'll have to spend to buy one. But if you're not comfortable with it, it's better than doing something wrong or you know, possibly having a fire started because you wired something incorrectly. All right guys, so let's get this thing started. All right guys, before we get started marking out our box, I wanted to go over some of the parts and kind of get a parts list. Everything that I'm using here today, I did buy on Amazon. I'll include links down below for you guys. If you want to follow along on how I do this, by all means, go ahead. I'm not perfect at this, but I, I'm, I'm all right. And what I seem to have works pretty well. So um, the first thing that we have is a 10,000 watt SCR and it does have a removable face plate so we can mount the face just about anywhere we want in our box. Okay, so this is all for 240 volt. The next thing we have is a volt and amp meter. Guys, this is like $7. Um, you don't need this, but it's nice to have a reference point, a visual reference point for me. That's kind of what it's about. This is a temperature probe gives you uh, um, your temperature in your column, okay? Uh, this is just a K-type thermocoupler, it runs, so it can run on you know your basic uh, cell phone adapter or anything like that. In addition to your, basically your thermometer with your K-type coupler and your volt and amp meter and your SCR, you're gonna need two 30 amp plugs or receptacles and a 30 amp switch to shut this thing on and off. So let's uh, go ahead and get this started and we'll see how it goes. All right guys, I kind of got this thing laid out the way that I want the box to look. In this corner, I'm gonna have my volt and amp meter. On this side, I'll have my temp. One plug, my second plug over here, and then the control right in the center. I just measured this box, squared it up, and then tried to line these up the best I could. I'm gonna take this over to the Dremel, get this cut out, and then we'll come back. All right guys, I got my box cut out here, and I'm gonna start putting in my pieces. Make sure everything fits, and you can kinda of just set these in you know this is where my plugs are gonna go my volt and amp meter should go here sure it fits good yeah so i don't know if there's a right way to put this in here obviously there is okay this should fit In. 
Might have to take a peek and see how this fits in here and just try to test it out. I don't want to put it in and then have to try to pull it back out because these little tabs right here are kind of a pain in the ass to, to push in and then remove. So I don't know if you can see that, but they got little tabs and they, they kind of push in on the sides. That's what holds it in place. I'm going to do a little investigation on that and see if I can't figure it out. All right, guys. So I got all my holes drilled in the top. And now the next thing that I need to do is drill two holes in the side of my box, one for my wire feed in and one for my thermal couple out. And I'm just going to put them right in the side. The first one's going to be right in the center. The second one is going to be right up here, net right in line with my temperature probe. Now that I got that done, guys, <clears throat> it's going to be basic assembly. I'm going to use a distribution block. This is a one by two. This is going to give us a way to split off to both of our plugs. Also give us some inline fuses just to make sure that nothing pops. All right. Try to show you kind of how this is going to work here. Um, I've got this mounted in the bottom of my box and I put screws in it to mount it down and then I cut the screws off the back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here with my wire and I have one phase go to my distribution block. The other phase go to here. Point number one. So I'll have one phase in the distribution block one phase and point number two. On the outside of my distribution block, I'll have one phase that goes to number two pin on here. And then I'll have one phase that goes to my plug. That'll be the main components to how all of this works. So one of these plugs will be static. This one will be static. This one will be controlled by the SCR. I'm gonna get this wired up and then I'll, I'll come back and show you how it all works. All right guys, now as you can see, my black wire goes straight in my distribution block, my white wire goes straight to my SCR. Then my black wire goes through the distribution block to the first peg on the SCR. The next step is to wire up our first plug. So I'm gonna get started on that now. All right guys, I just kind of wanted to bring you in here and show you that I have my first plug wired up. And that's it right there. You put black on one side, white on the other. It really doesn't matter uh, which pole you put it on. And then my ground wired right from my straight and then my second plug will go there. So let's go over this one more time here. I got my black wire going straight into my distribution block here and coming out here. It then goes up to my SCR, my first uh, pin on my SCR, and then back out of my SCR on my third pin up to my plug. The white wire bypasses the distribution block, goes right to the SCR to the second pin. On the fourth pin, it comes back out, goes through the donut for my amp meter, volt and amp meter, and up to my plug. So when I turn this on, my volt and amp meter should tell me how many volts and how many amps that that plug is drawing. The second plug will just be operated statically. I'll have to plug and unplug it. Just a quick update here. This kind of looks like a, a mess but it won't when I'm done. What I got done is I wired up back here, let's see if you can see this. I wired up my temperature control or my temperature probe digital thermometer. And how I did that is I used just a cell phone charger. It looks exactly like this. This will turn my um, I don't know if you can see it here. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. This will turn my uh, 220 
down to 12 volt and power that that unit there that will tell me my temperature. On this side, I have the donut hooked over my white wire and then both the positive and negative that will tell me my volts that screw in here or that uh, go into these two terminals are hooked up to that side of the controller. Um, all really I have to do is wire this plug up here and then tidy the box up, make sure everything looks nice and uh, plug it in and see if it works. So we're getting there. This is what it looks like. It's fairly clean, decently straight here. Um, I haven't plugged it in yet, test it out, but this is what the front looks like. Flip it over here. These plug covers, guys, uh, I wish I would have done something else there, but I did take some glue, some hot glue, and kind of seal them up. Just a little added protection to protect from moisture in this box. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up here so you guys can see the wiring. And just remember, this is solid core wire here. So it is a little stiff to open and close. But. but that's what it looks like. All right, this really isn't that hard to wire. It's pretty simple, pretty basic stuff. I'm gonna plug this thing in and show you guys how it works, make sure everything works good, um, and get ready for my next run. All right guys, I got this thing mounted here and wired. This is my master switch. I haven't turned anything on yet, so this will kind of be the maiden voyage for this thing here. I'm going to go ahead and flip this thing on. Hopefully everything works. Nothing, we don't get any black smoke or a pop or anything like that. So, let's give it a shot. All right. Yeah. Okay, so this is, uh, we're reading 247 volts and 0.1 amps right now. Let's turn everything on here. This does have a power on and off, so it does control one of my elements just with this button. And my temp gauge looks like it's reading fine. 61.2. Let's see if, uh, let's make sure here. Temperature's going up. This is one of the only things that I would suggest you upgrade to. This is just a half inch NPT thermometer probe and it goes directly in here and screws in. So you don't have to fuss with drilling a hole or doing anything in your column for the standard one that comes with this. Um, the only thing left is to test this thing out. Um, I don't want to fill the keg with water and just run water through this so this is all cleaned I did do a vinegar run through it um, with the old controller the old PID controller I had but our sugar wash should be ready within the next couple of days and hopefully I can get that ran through here if uh, you guys want all the parts that I'm using in this I will link everything in the description below I don't believe this whole thing may have cost me 30 bucks to put together, maybe 40. Um, so super cheap to do, uh, fairly easy to wire. I'll link all the parts in the description. I'll also link a wiring diagram to all this stuff. All right guys, so now it's time to do all that YouTube stuff. Like, share, subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed the video today. Have an awesome week. Cheers.